Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel Mrs. Francis Vlogs. On today's video I am going to be trying on the always period underwear um, versus the always discreet underwear. I went to my local Walmart to purchase the period underwear as well as the discreet underwear. Although I've tried the discreet underwear before. I've tried them when I had my daughter and I tried them again during the winter storm here in Texas in February uh, because I didn't have any running water um, I opted to use the discreet underwear versus the my regular underwear um, so I'm just paying for my items right now And the pack of the period underwear only brings three. I did not see anything, any packages at the store that bring more than three underwears in the pack for the period underwear. And another thing that I noticed is that they don't have the single sizes like the discreet underwear. For the period underwears, they have it as large slash extra large versus the discreet they have the single sizes if you're small they have a small if you're extra large like me they have the extra large and they go up to a bigger size beyond the extra large versus the period underwear i did not see a bigger size beyond the large slash extra large at the store so if you are on the bigger side like myself or if you have a big butt like myself i will not recommend getting the period underwear for that reason because it did feel snug I did not like that feeling at all uh, when you are on your period you bloat it so definitely wearing tight stuff does not work at least for me it does not work I like loose fitting underwear when I'm on my period because I want to be as comfortable as I can so like I said it only brings three in the pack and the price was $6.97 at my local Walmart for those three period underwears. And for the discreet underwear, it brings nine in the pack. And it was $11.97 if I'm not mistaken. And for this, it just brings the pad on the inside. A large pad on the inside. Um, same thing with the discreet underwear. It has that large pad on the inside as well. It's just that the underwear part is bigger than the period underwear you could clearly see the difference in the two but I'm guessing it's because they have a large slash extra large on on the sizing versus the discreet that is just one size extra large and I honestly feel you guys as though always did get a hold of this so because they have so many videos on YouTube with women with what's in my hospital bag they always have this uh disposable underwears included on their videos so i truly do believe that they got a hold of this information and they just decided to name it period underwears when he looks exactly the same as the disposable underwears that women wear because the pad is not even thicker than the one on the discreet underwear it's, it's the same it's the same So on this clip here, I've already tried it on. Oh, I've already put it on. And like I stated, it feels snug. It feels tight. And for that reason, I will not be repurchasing this uh, period underwears because of the sizing. If they were to come up with a single size like they have the discreet, I'll definitely give it a try again. But because the, the sizing is large slash extra large, I will not be repurchasing again because it feels snug. So if you have a big butt, like I stated earlier, if you're on the larger side like myself, it's not going to work. It's going to feel too tight. And definitely if you have a big butt, it's definitely not going to work because it's going to be too tight on that area. And I like being comfortable when I'm on my period. So therefore, I will continue to use the discreet. I did use it as well the discreet when I went on a road trip a few months ago and it worked out just fine because I felt more comfortable because when you are on your period when I used to work in the office I remember 
having to ask my co-workers sometimes hey can you check before i walk off and make sure that i don't have any stains like you always have that on the back of your mind when you are on your period if you're sitting down for a long period of time when you stand up you feel a bit insecure like did i stain myself especially when you have a heavy flow on those first uh, two days but the underwear does you could de definitely tell the difference that it does look smaller than the discreet extra large and you could definitely see that the padding does not look any different as well the pads look the same it's just that the price for the period underwear it's a bit um, to me it's not a bit on the pricey side because if it's $6.97 for three and if I need more than three then I have to go back and purchase like two or three boxes because you're not going to use just one underwear all day you of course you're going to be changing so as you can see you can really tell that I have it on um, it just looks like I'm wearing regular underwear. I just don't feel that it feels too tight. So that's the period underwear. And the discreet underwear. So I would definitely be repurchasing this again, the discreet underwear, but not the period underwear. If they were to come up with the single sizes, definitely I'll give it a try again. But because of that large, extra large uh, sizing, I will not be repurchasing. And as far as the protection, as far as leakage, I felt the same way with both. I didn't see no difference at all. So this definitely will bring us to the end of this video. Comment down below if you've tried any of these two products. Let me know how it worked out for you. Would you repurchase again any of the two? Or will you not repurchase and just continue to use regular pads or tampons? So definitely leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.